Hello, hello, welcome back. Alright, you ready for this one? Quick apple turnovers. <laughs> I've got the munchies hard. Alright, I'm missing an ingredient, but I'm going there anyway. So the first thing we want to do is preheat our ovens at 220 degrees Celsius. Get yourselves out a baking tray with some baking paper. We want to pull two sheets of frozen puff pastry out and get them out thawing. For the filling, we're going to need a 385 to 400 gram can of apple slices. Now, it doesn't matter what brand you get, as long as they say pie fruit on them. We want some cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and some caster sugar. And as always, I will put the recipe below. Now, for the top afterwards, if you've got some Demira sugar, we can put a little bit of that on, or some icing sugar at the very end. Alrighty, so the first thing we do is get a bowl, grab our apple can of apples, chuck them in our bowl. Now we want to get a good pinch of ginger, so pinch it with your fingers, a good pinch of nutmeg, quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half tablespoons of caster sugar. Now at this stage you're supposed to have uh, one teaspoon of lemon rind, so you get a really little grater and one teaspoon is roughly half a lemon and you just grate the yellow off and chuck that in there, but I don't have it. Now we mix it around really good. So now we need to cut both pieces into four. So I'll just fold it over, get a crease. Cut that. Fold it over this way. Get a crease. Cut that and do it with the other one. Now just stir our apples up again and then lay them on there on the first one. And we want to put them all in the middle and leave a little border around the edge of all of them. Alright, I'll slide that aside for a sec. Now we get one of our tops and we fold it in half like a triangle. Don't have to press it down or anything. Now we're going to put slits in it, but we want to picture having a border like that, that we don't, okay? So you start off with little ones, and get just a little bit longer, and then go back down again so you're not touching that border. Like a sou, oh, I hope you can see that properly, and then open it back out gently, pull it off, and then... Stick our top on. Yep, you can see that. Okay, then get it to the edges. And push down gently. Do that all the way around. Now once you've pushed it all down, you can get your knife and just trim the tiniest little bit off of all the edges. Once you've done that, just lift it up and gently peel it off of the bottom. Put your hand there. Okay, once you've got it like that, we've trimmed up our edges, they're nice and pushed together, and it's a beautiful looking, onto our baking tray, and then do the other three exactly the same. Now we need to whisk one egg up with a fork. Now you can get a pastry brush, or you can just use your fingers, and the first thing we want to do, I don't know how much there you can see there, I'll do it with my is you just want to get it and rub your egg all over. Once you've coated all four in the egg, you can either leave them like that now, so I'm going to leave two plain, so once after they've cooked, we can icing sugar them, and I'm going to put two with Demira sugar on. Now Demira sugar, I don't know if you can even be able to see properly from this, right? It's tiny little squares of sugar, and I think it's got golden syrup through it or something. It's used a lot in pastry. I'm going to sprinkle it over two of them, but yeah, that's optional. So you find that at the same place as you find all your normal white sugar. It's in a tiny little bag. 
Okay, as quick and easy as that, now we bang them in the oven. Oh yeah, baby. 20 minutes later in my electric oven. And mate, we have got ourselves a luscious dessert. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. All right, so you can do anything you want with these. So the ones with the sugar already over them, I'll just put them in a bowl and put ice cream straight on the top. Oh my God, you have to have apple turnovers with ice cream. But if you don't, you can also have them with some fresh cream. It doesn't matter. And then with the plain ones, I like to get a little strainer thingy out and dust some <laughs> icing sugar over and then the ice cream on top. You don't have to though, but if you're doing it for like a little dinner party or something, why not? Just like that, lovelies. Bit of ice cream on top, something really simple and easy. Bloody beautiful. Give it a crack. Thanks for watching. Bye.